Hi everyone, today I will show a way to check whether an email is received, rejected, or delivered by Exchange Online in your organization. The tool that I'm going to use is called Message Trace. As you can see, I already logged into Microsoft 365 Admin Center and I'm going to click Exchange. Once I click Exchange, the new Exchange Online Admin Center will open up for me. For those who like Classic View, I will run a test report first and then I will come back here and run another test report from this view. From Classic Exchange Admin Center, click Mailflow, and then click Message Trace. Here's the view of Message Trace. First, I need to pick the date range. By default, I have past 24 hours, past 48 hours, past 7 days, and custom. If you would like to check, let's say, past 10 days, obviously you need to click on custom. But you need to remember, you can go back to the last 90 days to generate report using message trace. You cannot go back anything further than 90 days. For this example, I'm going to select past 48 hours. Then I'm going to the delivery status. I can select all or I can select any of the available options from the drop down that I have here. But for now, I'm just going to keep it all. Then I have message ID or client ID. I usually don't add anything here and I'll leave it empty. After message ID, I have sender and I have recipient. I'm going to click add recipient and select this user. Then search. And here's message trace result. This user received seven emails in the past 48 hours. As you can see, the dates are in UTC. So you need to convert the date to, for example, PST. Then here's the sender, the recipient, subject and status. You can see out of all seven emails that this user receive this email marked as spam. You can click any of these emails, for example, this one, and you can get it in more details. Here's the subject, here's the sender, here's the recipient, the status, the message events, and here's additional properties. Now, you can add the sender if you know what the sender is. It doesn't have to be from your tenant. You can add the sender here. So if I add the sender, click OK and click search, I can see in the past 48 hours, this sender sent only one email to this recipient. This is how you can use the message trace in the classic view. Now let's go back to the new admin center and run another message trace from there. From this menu, click on mail flow, then click on message trace. This page, we have four tabs. The first one is default queries. You can use any of these available reports if you like, but if you're looking for something more specific or you want to create a custom report, you can click on custom queries tab, then click on start a trace. Here I have senders, recipient, and pretty much the same options that I had in a classic view, I have it over here. So for recipient, I'm going to use the same user. Now here I have a slider for my date range. I can go all the way to the last 90 days, which is the limit, or I can click on custom time range. And here I have a start date and a time and an end date and a time here. I'm going to go back to the slider and I'll just leave it to the last 10 days. Then I have detailed search option. If I click on a drop down, I have a delivery status. I have a message ID and I have direction. I can select inbound or outbound and I have IP address. Then here I have report types. If you go past 10 days, you cannot use the summary report, which is the instant online access. If I pass the 10 days, Exchange will force me to use enhanced summary report. It's a downloadable CSV file, or I can use extended report. At this point, it's just up to me what type of report I want to get if I pass 10 days. Then I will click next, but for now, I'm just going to leave it, for example, 15 days. And then I'm going to click next. Here's a, basically a summary of what I'm going to ask from Microsoft. The time range is last 15 days. Here's the recipient. Sender, is, it shows all. I can also change the report title. So let's say maybe you and your coworker trying to uh, generate a report and you don't want to get confused. So you can just change the name to anything you like. And the good thing about this report is whenever the report becomes available, 
Microsoft will send you an email letting you know that the report is ready and you can come back and download the report from the downloadable report tabs. You don't have to use this email. This is the email address of the user who logged in to to exchange admin center you can add someone else if you like i'm not going to click prepare report because i already have a report that i'm going to show you here in a downloadable report tab i have two reports available if i click on it i can see the start date and end date i can see the submitted date and time and i can also download the report from here as i mentioned when report become available microsoft will send you an email and here's the example or sample email that Microsoft will send you. Here's the title of the report that becomes the subject of the email. And here's the message that Microsoft will send you when the report becomes available. If you click here, it will take you to this page basically. So if you see the email, you can just go back here and, and download the report. So yeah, basically that's how you can use message trace. Let me know if you have any questions or if you know any other way of tracing email in exchange online. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day and thank you for watching.